Hi, can I help you there? at the distribution center, or as we call it, the DC, is a highly respected job. In fact, it's one of the hardest jobs to get on campus. You'll need quite the extensive resume to even get considered at this place. I mean, you gotta know your way around the alphabet, be able to spell people's names correctly, Make sure the right person gets the right package. It takes a certain amount of skill to be able to survive in this jungle. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness! Yes! Why do I take my job so seriously? Because my boss is Joe Biden. No, seriously, if you really think about it, we're basically government workers. USPS? They got nothing on us. Sure, they have their little mail trucks with their logo on the side, but we have these super cool golf carts that can sometimes go up to 15 miles an hour. So if you really think about it, it's no competition. Anyways, as government workers, we're legally required to serve the president. And if I want to be president one day, I need to prove to Joe that I deserve his endorsement. Yeah, so I really work here because they pay by the hour and not by efficiency. Some people set their own hours. I set my own pace. Hey, have you guys seen a uh, medium brown box for suing in ourselves? No. Hey, have you guys seen a medium brown box for suing in ourselves? I don't see anything in here. Me neither. Hey, uh, guys, we, we couldn't find any of our packages either. What? No, 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 it's happening! It's finally happened. There's been a breach! A robbery! It's over for all of us. We're all going to jail. It's been nice knowing all of you. What's going on here? What Damien's trying to say is, there's just a few packages we can't find. They're probably just in the mud bins or something. We'll get this taken care of. What packages are they? These aren't missing. They should still be here. I know because I checked them in myself this morning. Oh. What should we do then? <laughs> Team meeting right now! Everybody to the break room! <sighs> I've been informed that there have been some packages missing. I need this taken care of by the end of today or else you're all losing two weeks pay. Ugh. Huh? I'll even give a 1% raise to whoever's the first to tell me what's going on. <laughs> Is she serious? A 1% raise supposed to become detectives and figure out this whole mess for her? No one's gonna do that. 
Wait. That's perfect. If I can figure this out first, I'll get the ways. And because I'm her favorite, I could ask for a higher one. And chances are, she'll probably give it to me. <laughs> All right, I know one of you is responsible for this. Packages don't just disappear. I'm guessing one of you got bored and thought you could get away with pulling a little stunt like this, huh? Mm -mm. Not on my watch, you can't. Because you see, this little prank is more of a little felony. Yeah, that's right. Whichever one of you punks is responsible for this is going to jail and I'm gonna make sure of it. a lot. Some weeks almost every day, but I do get a decently nice paycheck, so I'm trying to stick it out. Besides, no one seems to want to hire me anyways, and believe me, I have tried. This one time, I had to get this dude 50 packages. Not 15, 50. Shortly after, I spiraled and sent my resume to like 20 different places. Never got a call back. Paul, can I speak with you for a moment? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really can't take a break right now. I have to get this post in pre-lab, and it's due, it's due in an hour, and if I don't turn it out in time, then I'm going to fail the class, and if that happens, I'm going to fail college, and then if that happens, I won't get into med school, and then if that happens, my parents won't love me anymore. kid can be so dramatic sometimes. I mean, who cares if your parents stop loving you? Who needs that? My parents never said they loved me. Never. And look how I turned out. Just fine. No. I'm better than fine. Skylar, why won't you just fess up already? Everyone here knows that you're responsible for this entire mess. Dude! You just made me get eaten by a velociraptor! Oh, and I am one point short of topping my high score. Do you know how long I've been practicing with this? Like, half my shift already! Oh. This is why every workplace needs a safety backpack. And everyone tries to make fun of me, saying, it looks like a disco ball, it's blinding me, uh. But when a real emergency strikes, the safety backpack will be there. And even if it's not, it'll be easy to find thanks to its authentic holographic material. The Google Dinosaur Game has always been my escape, my happy place. Look, I haven't told anyone this yet, but this year, I'm super close to qualifying for the semifinals tournament in the Google Dinosaur game. This year, the cash prize is $5,000. That means that if I won, I could finally get out of here. That's why I've been practicing so much. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You're just always playing games. Why don't you just admit it already that you took the packages? Because I didn't take them! <gasps> Actually, how do we know? You're not the one playing games, huh? I bet you're trying to frame me to cover your tracks, aren't you? 
You're trying to get me fired, aren't you? Well, you know what? It's not going to work. Because once President Biden hears about this, you're done. You're never stepping foot in the White House. You guys can't possibly believe what she's saying, right? I don't know. Sounds like it could be true. Oh, I mean, I know Damien. He's not that smart to make a mastermind plan. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I definitely could have come up with a plan like this, okay? And if I didn't live with constant, 100% pure Catholic school guilt, totally could have gotten away with it, too. So you're admitting it? Admitting what? That you could pull something like this off. Yeah, of course I could. Oh, well... No, wait, no, wait, no. Thank you. That's all I needed. I'll be showing this to the boss now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. Oh, well then I just won't do it. Under one condition. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yes, yes, please, please, whatever, yes, anything. Never bother me again. Just sit in the back and type your little life away. You got it? Yes. Don't even look in my direction. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, then go. Sometimes this job can be pretty stressful. I mean, every day there are thousands of people counting on us. Well, every, every Monday to Friday. Anyways, this can all put a lot of, a lot of pressure onto us workers. And that kind of pressure can mess you up, can make you say things that you don't mean to say. I will make it to the White House. I know it. Damien's such a jerk. I can't believe he tried to blame me for this. What's his problem? Oh, I mean, to be fair, I totally get where he's coming from, you know? It's not like I haven't thought about trying to pull off some kind of crazy prank just like this, just to get out of here. I mean, I could never go through with it, though, you know? It's just, like, so much work. Yeah, totally. So much work. Hey, what do you think about all this? Mm, must be an Amazon worker. Someone's not getting paid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, who are you kidding? Mazes doesn't pay anyone. Mazes doesn't pay anyone. Must be the entire Amazon workers. I should have known. What? You don't think it's anyone here? What? Nah. We're a family. I think we're a team. The team doesn't sabotage. The team? Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, my favorite part about working here? It's probably seeing the look. You know, you know the look, right? The look that every customer gets when they get their packages, it's just, they all lighten up. You know, they go giddy and all that. It, it's, it, what can I tell you, man? It's beautiful. I mean, one time, I delivered this guy 15 packages. When he got them all, he just started crying. You know, tears of joy. And it's beautiful. I mean, what we're doing, it's like Christmas every day to them. And we're like Santa Claus to these people. And I tell you, Santa Claus doesn't let anyone down. We can't let them down. Ever. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna need help with this one. Oh! Rat! Rat! 
Dude, that's a mouse. You can tell by the way it's nibbling on the cheese. Rats don't nibble. Sometimes the boss likes to go home a bit early. And in situations like these, it's up to the second most important person to step up to the plate. You know what? Sometimes, to become president, you have to be vice president first. I'll read it out loud. Uh, she says, and I quote, Brin's right, everybody. Today was a test to see how you guys would perform in such a tense situation, whether you all would work harder or not. Oh and my quote. god. Actually, I was more interested in primal group dynamics and whether or not this would turn into a Lord of the Fly situation. Oh, wait, no. Guys, she just sent me another email. Uh, she says, and I quote, More importantly, since no one figured it out, no one gets a raise. Oh, come oh, yeah. on. She is so cheap. Am I surprised? Honestly, no. Now that I think about it, it was kind of crazy. The boss offered giving a 1% raise. She's a real cheapskate. Will I have nightmares about this day? Yes. Did I just prove to Joe that I can endure unpredictable circumstances? Also yes. I have learned an invaluable lesson from today's experiment. All I gotta do to enjoy work is to annoy Damien. Easy. Mm -hmm.